Hi everyone, this video is going to show how to make cells from your inventory, how to record a cell. So in here I've got four, four cards uh, that were purchased initially for an inventory value of $25. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to sell this LeBron James card. I'll go down to this little icon here. Mark is sold. Purchased originally for $25. I'm graded, paid the money, yes, and I can click this check mark box. Mark as sold. Let's say sell date. Sold it today. I sold the card for $100. Yes, I've received the money, and typically, you know, there will be any kind of selling expenses associated with the card. You'll record those in here, but for sake of the example, We'll leave it alone and you can click save and it the card has been marked as sold and it you know make sure you view the separate video on the dashboard and how that revenue is going to be reported but it's as simple as recording a sale right there and now for bulk if i want to do the same thing from bulk uh this is a you know a bulk collection that i added for a hundred dollars and it had a hundred a hundred cards in it uh this is again the option for if you didn't want to add in all the details of the cards, you just wanted to add in kind of one clean, simple record. To sell a card from your bulk collection, you can mark as sold. Mark the collection as sold. And that's if you want to sell the entire collection. You can mark the entire collection as sold and it'll do everything. If you just want to sell one card from that collection, you're going to click sell a card. And it's going to make you enter all the details of that individual card. So we'll say from that, uh, from that entire bulk collection, we sold a LeBron James card, 2003. Add whatever you want for the description. Basketball. This is all optional. Type. Ungraded. And the cost. The cost is, it's, you can't change this field. It's set at $1 because there were 100 cards in that. In that bulk record that was purchased for a hundred dollars so by default the inventory value of that card is one dollar sale date we sold it today let's say we sold that card for a hundred dollars meaning you made 99 dollars of profit any selling expenses you can add that there we'll save and finish And you'll have one card that is sold for $99 and the inventory value of that one card was $1. So you now have 99 cards remaining for $99 of inventory value. 